So you're trying to figure out how to create an office, but still have room for guests. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how we transformed one of our rooms in our house, an office and a guest room, so stay tuned. Now more than ever, a lot of people are working from home. My husband is most likely working from home for the foreseeable future, so we really wanted to create an environment that was gonna be productive for him, but also comfortable. We also needed to have a functioning guest space. Prior to taking on this project, my husband had his tables crammed up against the dresser that we had in this room. It was not functioning. If we had guests over it, they couldn't access the drawers. It just didn't make sense at all. So we rearranged stuff and created a new layout. And for just meeting, I am Lindsay from Organized to Save, and my goal is to help you get organized and be more productive with budget-friendly tips, tricks, and some super fun DIYs. Now, as I mentioned, this space still has to function for our guests. So that's why we kept his office area isolated to this one wall. Now the whole other side of the room can still function as the guest space. We have the bed up against the wall as kind of a day bed. I've pulled up one of my rugs that I had on hand. We also retackled his closet, which we did a whole KonMari video on this before, but we actually switched out the dresser with the one that used to be hidden behind my husband's desk and it functions a lot better for him now. drawers are KonMari folded so it's gonna be super easy for him to be able to snag a t-shirt and pants that he wants to wear for the day. Corner over here we added this shelf which we already had on hand. Now all of his books are in one spot. Previously his books were scattered all over the house so anytime he wanted to find something to read he had to remember where it was stored. So now we took them all put them in this bookshelf as well as some fun stuff for him to display. If you've seen our basement renovation video, I've been having a lot of fun with paint lately and thinking outside of the box. So I created this awesome backdrop behind my husband's desk and all that I did was I measured to see how wide his desk was gonna be, draw out two lines on the wall, and then created an arch at the top by simply measuring the distance between the two lines, cutting that in half, and putting a nail right in the center. I used a pencil and some string and created the arch. This is a great hack that you can implement into any space. This would be super fun in a living room to create a little gallery wall area, or in a dining room, you could have a little credenza underneath it and shelves for even a little coffee bar. I did not spend anything because I used some paint that we already had on hand, and I absolutely love this color. I really wanted to make the home office area stand out for him and create a super fun wall for him to be able to look at. The tables that we're using are ones that we had on hand. We got an amazing addition that I am in love with. For my husband's job, he previously had a standing desk, which was awesome for his back. But since being home and working multiple hours, we really wanted to find a solution for him that he could have the dual purpose of sitting and standing to work. This amazing flexi spot desktop riser it was so simple to put together and does just the job. Now my husband can easily go from sitting to standing and can easily adjust it to whatever height he needs. To keep the top of his desk organized, put a little basket where he can curl all of his papers together and then a little pencil caddy. It's going to help keep his desk clear of papers being scattered about. For his headphones, I simply just took a 3M hook and attached it to the side of the table leg. Now he can easily access his headphones and then put them away when he's done. To keep all of the cords organized, the Flexi Spot actually came with these cord organizers, but I'll leave something similar linked down below. I just secured them to the back of the desk and now all of the cords are up out of the way so his feet aren't going to be tangled up in cords and it's a nice clean look underneath the desk. let me know down in the comments below. Do you know where this quote comes from? Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. You're an office fan, I'm sure you guessed it, but my husband absolutely loves the office. So much so that I wanted to incorporate it into his own office space. I thought about how fun it would be to have some office quotes up on his wall. So I simply snagged these clipboards from the Dollar Tree, but where else? and just created some super fun graphics over in Canva. Printed them off, and now he has custom office-inspired artwork up on his wall. It's 
go ahead and remember what this room looked like before and now let's check out the after. Now there is a clearly defined workspace slash guest room area. I absolutely love the painted out wall behind his desk. It gives such a fun accent. All of the office quotes really brings in my husband's personality. This workspace is perfect for him. It's exactly what we needed. I love that he can still fit his two monitors and his laptop right on the desk riser and he still has plenty of workspace below. The room isn't perfect by any means, but now my husband has a super fun little office nook that he's going to feel comfortable in, not only sitting, but also being able to stand up and work. If you're looking for more ideas on how to get an office space set up and organized, check out the playlist on your screen right now and we'll see you over there.